Ladies and gentlemen, I just paid $5,000 for an abandoned moving truck that's full of stuff. Let's find out what I got. Yeah, there we go. Whoa. Oh, no way! Is this worth anything or is that oh, yeah, trash? I see something I'm getting super excited about. Oh, there's a picture. I don't. Nope. Don't I'm gonna joke. look. It's like a new man. Whoa, that's pretty sweet. Oh, the table. Ay, ay, ay. Shouldn't have opened that. Guys, welcome back to the vlog where it's buy everything season apparently. Uh, recently bought the cement truck down at the auction, which uh, turned out to be a great purchase. We got some updates coming on that for you very soon. But uh, I got a call the other day from a real estate investor, uh, a guy that I've done some business with. And he's like, hey, I bought this foreclosed property and it has a moving truck that has been basically abandoned with the property. There was that, like some squatters living there. I guess the place is a total mess. Um, so as part of the foreclosure process, they had to basically file a lien on the abandoned moving truck as well. So anyways, he called me, he's like, hey, you want the truck, come buy it. He says, I think it's full of stuff, it's locked. I haven't been in there, haven't been wanted to deal with it. So I am headed there right now in my Oshkosh seven ton. And you're probably wondering why I'm driving this. I'll tell you, it's a bigger moving truck that apparently doesn't run. I guess they say some hose and stuff are disconnected. So instead of trying to get it running, we are just going to tow it back to the shop. Um, I don't know how locked it is. I don't know what the rear door situation looks like. So we may get in it today, uh, right there on the site to kind of take a quick look inside to see if it's just trash or not. Um, or we might just tow back to the shop, I'm not sure. But basically the truck's so big that we would either need to put on a low boy or bring in a heavy wrecker or use the seven ton with just a flat tow bar, which uh, we have in here. So hopefully we can just get that hooked up to the front. We don't have to tow very far. Every once in a while, you find a jet since it was a moving truck, leads me to believe that hopefully they were moving stuff and not just trash. Either way, we're getting the truck out of the deal, so hopefully the truck's worth something if there's nothing good in it. We're gonna go see what the back looks like, see if there's a lock or what's going on. Oh boy. No lock? Mm, it does not have a lock. Oh no, it does. It's got this right here. Ah, oh, trickster lock. I was gonna say, there's no way they're just- That's what I thought. I actually like that it's locked because that means that somebody thought something was valuable inside here, hopefully, unless there's bodies in here. Lock? Which I guess would be valuable to somebody. Yeah, it's got this actual like barrel lock would that on be it. on the keychain or something? Look at this place though, it's pretty cool. Best piece of construction ever created in the world. These are by far my favorite. I would build an entire house out of these shower bathroom you know if someone was naked on the other side you wouldn't know i'd have a figure enough just to get real all right so, <laughs> nope. like then there's alan who takes of, it way too serious of, uh, glass you don't like them why because they're hollow and it's easy to break Ooh. smells like an abandoned truck Definitely been torn apart, missing some nuts and bolts. Some nuts and bolts that I found. 2001 Isuzu. Got the owner's name, which is nice. Um, somebody's to do list to go pick up some appliances. I don't know if this was a company moving truck or somebody's private moving truck. It doesn't look like a company truck, so I didn't see logos on it, but it also, I don't know, it had some old logos on it that were pulled off. Oh. It's stuck. That's the key. Boom. Definitely no battery. There's another key on here though. Hey, there's a key on here. Yeah, there's the ignition key. And then there's this, which looks like that. Barely you bought the key. truck with it, yeah? 
With what? The truck comes with the not, we're not just buying stuff inside, but you bought the truck and everything. I, I only bought the truck. He said there might be stuff inside too. So oh. that's I bought it basically for the truck. So how do you feel so far in your purchase then? Uh, the I mean, <laughs> I don't know. If it's a quick fix, we can make some money on it. But honestly, I bought it for the surprise that maybe there might be something. In I know. I, 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 I just wanted to admit it. Halfway turns. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Hold on. How do you feel? How do you feel? I'm pretty sure I see a power wheelchair. Whoa. Whoa. You smell that? Somebody's actively smoking. Is Bud in here? <laughs> it's coming around. I think that's part of the purchase. Yeah, there's a. Okay. So the truck is full. Huh. Again, nobody knew what was going on except for the fact that the, the investor basically said that he was pretty sure there was stuff in here, but it's been here for a long time and abandoned. So it looks like a standard storage unit to me, except for I'm seeing some kind of cool stuff. Like for example, the first thing I'm seeing is this power wheelchair, which I'm pretty stoked on. Sewing machine, not so stoked on. Furniture, not so stoked on. This old furniture is so literally like, you can put this out on the curb and people won't pick it up. But. There's a lot of stuff in here. I don't think it's. Is that the Quantum 600 wheelchair? Yeah, it is. I don't think we go through here because this is just all junk. So I think we just tow back the shop. Let me just touch a couple. You can things. touch a couple things, but I don't want to load anything. Let me just touch a couple things. We get to touch stuff. Oh yeah. I don't know if I really want to touch stuff. See, I just said. This is exactly what I was afraid was going to happen. We're going to start unloading stuff. You said just touch one thing. Yeah, that's it. That was your one thing. Can I can I go really good thing? stuff underneath it? I want to go back and touch one thing with my hands. Yeah. This is why don't we want to go to the right? As you can see, it's got a lot of stuff. Don't know if there's anything valuable. It's really not. It's got a lot of stuff. Can we? No, because you won't let us play. All right, we're gonna tow it back to the shops until we go through it properly because so right you now. Want me right back there? All right, so we got a our tow bar, kind of makeshift put on there. There's some holes in the frame, and we just slid it on. Ran some bolts through it. Uh, we're not pulling it super far, so it should be fine. It's got some big bolts in it. Not necessarily how I would want to run it, you know, long distance, but like I said, should be fine. I'm hoping it rolls. It should. It's not air brakes. So Dave, when I back up to it, just lift that tow bar, put it on my panel, and then let's see if that parking brake will release or if it's even gear or whatever. You want to use Navy SEAL signals or Air Force signals? So I gotta do commercial airline. In fact, I think I got that, that wrong. That looks like a cheerleading move. Maybe it was. I'll just use a point. Universal. Baseball signals. Great. Whoa! I'm the strongest man alive. Left. Oh, left. Right up. Hard. 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 Paper, rock, scissors to who drives this out of you two? One, one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Hey, has anybody ever seen Alan's hand signals for backing up? <laughs> Did he use Navy Seals or Army? It was, the, it was, it was the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It was rock, paper, scissors mixed with thrown up gang signs mixed with Macarena, maybe. It was. <laughs> Is there a fish back there? What are we looking at? Brakes off. It's in neutral. Steering wheel's unlocked. It's moving. Is that back end going to swing and hit that rock wall? That's how tow bars work. In fact, they're trying to steer. <laughs> tow bars are supposed to just do the steering for you. You know what we should do? 
when we get back to the shop is just pull this right over by the dumpster and anything that you have no faith in this do no, you no, i'm just saying anything as we're going through it that we know is going to be trash so that we're not tempted to hang on to it straight to jail <laughs> yeah just go right in the dumpster and then you know all the good stuff that gotta be in there we can uh we can put in the back of this or something or in a container or somewhere where hopefully we sell it sooner than later a lot lower than it was. I'll tell you what, I love this truck. We don't use it very often just because it's more of like a like an on-highway tow rig, believe it or not. It's the Oshkosh MTVR, the medium tactical vehicle replacement, uh, seven ton. Basically this replaced like the uh, LMTVs and the Stuart and Stevensons and these trucks are just solid. It's got a Cat uh, C12 I believe, Allison seven speed, great trucks, cruises like 65 miles an hour, we use this to pull uh, my Navy boat down to Lake Powell. And we use it to pull pretty much anything that needs like air brakes and a big pinnel hitch and lots of power. Tons of power, super comfortable. Do need to put a roof on it. I don't know if it's like a turret or something. I don't know what that was for. Some sort of escape hatch. Oh yeah, you know what? While we're driving, uh, I need to tell you guys, stop falling for the scammer comments. It's like, it's so bad that it makes me not even want to check my, I, I barely check my messages anyways because of this. Like even emails and everything. If you receive a comment on a YouTube comment or a Facebook post or an Instagram post, and it's like a picture of me and it says, hey, you won, message me. It's not me. You didn't win anything. It's a 14 year old kid in Indonesia trying to get you to go to a website to put your credit card information in so that he can steal your money. I will never, ever, 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 ever leave a comment on your page or send you a message and tell you that you want anything. I'll find another way to get a hold of you if you actually want something from us. And it's never gonna be a gift card or, or a 2021 Chevy Silverado plus $10,000 cash, which is what they love to uh, convince people of. Guys, the problem with this is, and it's not just us that have this problem. Every, every high profile page on the internet has people pretending to be them. But when you respond to them, and a lot of people do, and they're like, oh my gosh, I won, thank you. Whether you believe it or not, you fuel that fire. And you give these guys the encouragement they need to keep creating pages. We have no control over this. We do like, we report hundreds of these pages every single day, and they just create thousands more. Instagram and Facebook do very little to stop it. It's actually pretty frustrating. Um, there's a lot of times we'll all get a report that says, hey, somebody reported this page as a, as a scam or a, pretending to be you. We're gonna investigate it. And then I get an email a week or so later that says, uh, we found this page doesn't violate community guidelines. And it's literally a picture of me, some Indian name, and a bunch of scam posts. So please, please, please don't email me about it. Don't message me about it. Don't respond to them. Just report it to this social media platform, whether it's YouTube or wherever, and mark it as a scam or a spam or whatever, and move on. That's it. It's that easy. I promise you. I'm never gonna drop a comment on one of your comments to say, hit me on the Telegram, or hit me on WhatsApp, and, and I got a prize for you. It's not real. Anything else you wanna get off your chest? Nah, it feels pretty good. It feels pretty good getting that out there. Over under on making money on this. Five thousand dollars. I think if you can get that box truck running, he paid five thousand. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's he'll make yeah, money. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he, I think, I, no brainer. The chair alone is worth a thousand. But sir, the food alone is worth the trip. <laughs> if you can name that movie, I'll give you a dollar right now. Food alone is worth the trip. Chris Farley. Ooh. Beverly Hills Ninja. No, no, sorry. Almost Heroes. Oh. I to be honest, I haven't seen that one. I've heard only good then things. Then you need about to. It. I know. Of course, you've heard only good things yeah. about it. I feel bad that I haven't watched it, but I definitely need to watch it. I'll just leave this here so we can load like the saddle and stuff in the back. I love tow bars. I feel like I could do a whole episode on tow bars and how sweet they are. We're not getting into it right now, but we're gonna open this thing up and see what we got. It really is a pretty decent truck overall. Got a leak on the cab, something like broken up on the top where the windshield meets the cab, so it's leaking in there. Uh, that's why they have the tarp on it. I'm. Don't even want to look at the engine right now because if it's bad, it's a bummer. 
So I'm gonna see if we made any money back here first before we even get into that, so let's go. And this is also the worst part because these knuckleheads are gonna wanna keep everything in there. Like Dave will fight me on literally every single thing that we're trying to throw away, which is why I parked it right next to the dump trailer and we're just gonna start throwing stuff in there. And if he wants to take it, he can take it home. But I don't want it here because I, I got enough junk. I thought you normally were the one that kept everything. I don't know what you're talking about, Nate. How dare you? I'm not a hoarder by any means. <laughs> this is where I probably have to step away because I'm a bit of a hoarder. <laughs> Uh, what has told me to do? Just preparing. Just in case. Just in case we need some extra places to throw stuff. Is he back? Right no. there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too close. We gotta pull the ramp down. Okay, hey, pull. Oh, yeah. They want. They want some. We give them this stuff. Straps help tie everything down. Is that too. connected up there? Cool. Nice. All right. Just start handing me stuff. This is where things get hard. Is this That's worth hard. anything, or is that oh, yeah, stupid trash? Let me. I know where. This is worth it. This, yeah, this is worth yeah. good money. That's good money. Wait, wait, no, no. What? You are gonna what? Small Don't do it. Oh man, there'll be so hey, many people mad at you. Yeah. Yeah. So many people. Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, bring it on! I can't wait till there's enough room for all of us up there. Uh oh. Oh, that's <laughs> bullshit. A signed CD cover, no CD in it. Oh, no. A new, a new, a new here. Okay. Alan, go ahead. What, what do you just, want just to do? figure out what's in there. Oh, no way! A dust buster! A love dust buster. Is it a real dust buster? It's got a car outlet on it. Oh, yeah, we're gonna... I know whose truck's gonna be really clean now. I don't know what's inside. I see a lot of hair in there. Look a lot of hair in there. Total awesome hits! Oh, okay. Volume 3? Oh, Hell yeah, but what, what's the genre? Oh, what's we actually got something with a price tag on it. Some sort of weird necklace. Hey, ready? $16.99. Oh, yeah. This works. Going right in Bud's glove box. That's going in this Bud box. I'm not even gonna, I'm not, I'm just gonna get rid of it. It's, it's trash, it's garbage furniture, it's falling apart. It is not worth anybody's time. So if you watch this video and say, oh, I couldn't use that. No, you couldn't. It's literally falling apart. Ah, yes. Yeah, no. This is a Mexican handmade saddle. I don't know if it's any good. It kind of looks like. Like a little kid saddle. Why is the horn so big? Is this your saddle? saddle up. I don't know how to test it, man. Yeah! Hey, send a picture of that to Jason. See if she recognizes. <laughs> <laughs> I see something I'm getting super excited about. I'm not gonna lie. It, look, it feels fairly heavy, but. Uh, no, we're going on the ramp. But how do you know how this works? I can't talk about that. That was my past life. Uh, hey, Spark, so you're gonna put uh, bigger tires on it? We'll see. We'll see what kind of motor it's got in it. You must, you must charge your batteries for 18 hours before well, first no, that's, use. No, that's for a power wheels. I seen it on the side of it. <laughs> but you're not supposed to know all this. Well, no, I literally seen it when you picked it up. If you look on top of the cord there, Dave, I seen it when you picked it up. It says power wheel on it. It sure does. Bud knows a lot about chairs and power wheels, okay? <laughs> oh, iron hands. <laughs> Are you really, you're really going to put that on? No. I guess I'm, not. No, you should. I, I think you should. It's, yeah. it's a large. You'll have to probably take your other clothes <laughs> off. We'll all turn around and not look while you're changing. It's always hard when you when you when you get to know the person whose stuff they're going through. <laughs> oh, well, that's it. I'm taking it off. Anna, Maybe, I, I'm hoping this wasn't Anna's. Oh, there's a picture. I don't. Nope. Don't, don't, I'm gonna look. Don't. Look. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Close call. Oh, Book of Mormon on tape. Really? This is also another hard part about buying abandoned stuff like storage units and things is. There's a lot of people's personal stuff. And it's like, how do I get this back to you, person? I don't. So most of the time, it's just, you just kind of got to get rid of it. Alan Trash. Hey, Alan, you want to go to Samoa? Change your name to Tatiana. Yeah, but I don't have that color of dress that I could wear to kick it off. It's sad to think that this was yeah. stuff somebody wanted to save and then something happened and they don't have it anymore. Or they just didn't want to deal with it anymore and they left it. <laughs> I don't know, come for me and see what you usually charge us. My one. Is it my one? The one? My one? No. Well, my one desire. It's, it's my one, right? Nope, no pictures. We don't do pictures. <laughs> I don't want to get to know these people. Bridges are dangerous. Bridges are dangerous, and this one looks like it's seen better days, so I'm not even going to. 
and this person had a lot of nice stands. Fake jewelry in here. This is, uh... We're about 10, 15% into the truck, and so far we have found a saddle, which looks like a toy saddle, an Iron Man suit, and a wheelchair that we're gonna find out if it works. Everything else is trash so far. Headboard coming down, watch out. That's, hold on. Oh, come on, a broken mount? <laughs> oh, that side has seen better days. Great. Woo! Portable power. Ride the rails. There was a Titanic before the original, the new like Titanic? With Clifton Webb and Barbara Stanwyck? And Audrey Dalton? Did you put that in your pocket? <laughs> I did. I think it'd look real good on the front of the old Ranger. <laughs> Definitely gonna need some straps. Dave, is this gonna work? Just mount it right here? That's actually exactly where that needs to go. <laughs> Five minutes later. Hey, bud, take it for a spin, bud. Uh, wet blanket. Oh, hell yeah, look at Bud's Ranger. Uh, oh yeah, I'm riding that down this ramp. Yeah, Nitro Circus! Wow, well, the, the Old Testament on cassette. Here, I get this for Bud. He needs a friend. <laughs> no, I don't. No! <laughs> no! A friend. No! No! <laughs> here, here, Alan, here. Here, he can he can ride, <laughs> right? Yeah. School stuff yeah. with nothing in it. Uh, there's like nothing in the CD packs. Remember back when these were it? The family computer room had these. I had like six or seven of them tied together. I'd, yep. I'd splice them, and then I would just do a real bad electrical tape job. They love to party. Dude, those take those batteries. Those go perfect with your Iron Man suit. It's like a new man. This fellow's been called the chillest dude in America. Ooh, someone's car keys. Someone, go find a Honda. <laughs> Ooh, an area hat? That's actually not gonna fit me, but it'll probably fit this guy. Got That's a great hat. hat. Look, area hat. Dang it! Alan, throw this hat on. What size is it? Holy smokes, that's the worst throw I've ever seen. It was the wind. Oh, that's perfect, dude. Yeah. Here, throw this one on. <laughs> the wet clothing bucket's gonna be a no for me. Saddle oh, pass. hell yeah. A middle school microscope. So where's our keep pile? Is it just mounted to Bud's truck so far as our keep pile? Oh, it might be the only thing somewhat valuable so far. Oh, yeah. Some water skis. <laughs> and there's two. Worth it. All right, put these in our, in our, oh, we gotta keep pile the saddle in it. Hey, easy. <laughs> the only thing we keep is throw. Good. You just try to do my voice. I heard you try <laughs> to just make fun of my voice. But... Nope. No. Nope. Smell getting stronger. Ooh, there's something that looks oh, somewhat valuable. Like Bucket full of tools, finally. See a hammock, maybe? Dave? Dave? Hammock! Yeah, man. There you go. The rest of that is like some sort of costume. Okay, finally, there we go. Okay, look, finally, we got a DeWalt 12 volt. We got some parts cleaner. Got some miscellaneous tools and some clippers and what looks to be like a part of a valve train. Yeah, look, this right here. This is. This is. This is. Maybe two hundred bucks worth of tools. All right, so we're making money. I bet you we've pulled out. Maybe 500 bucks worth of stuff that we're gonna keep so far. Make it 515. Oh, that's a good shovel. Always need a good shovel. Garbage dresser. <laughs> All right, the generator. Oh yeah, Alan. Definitely looks like a Harbor Freight special. It runs worth at least 100 bucks or so. but it actually has got good compression. Hey, here's a hundred bucks. 3,500 watts, 100. And it turns over. 
All right, so we're like maybe 600 bucks so far. All right. Ooh. Shouldn't have opened that. Okay. That's a nice cooler, though. If we can get it cleaned out. What do you? <laughs> I think this is just the bottom half. Okay. Uh, maybe save those dresses just to be safe. Best to get further. Like that's the top half. Yeah. Five nights at Freddy's. Holy! They have self-destruct built into them for the puppet. Right? <laughs> Energy. <laughs> I feel like you're not really gonna get a good feeling on it all until you can try to start the truck. Yeah. At some point, somebody thought that that was pretty cool. Like an old newspaper turned into a 3D flower. Yeah. I honestly just feel like I'm helping someone move right now. You like see the bed bugs on it. Oh man. Uh, you wanna, this is where I could use some extendo arms or something with the. Uh, it's sort of gross. Oh my gosh. Oh, I gotta bust it somehow. Oh, hey. Ooh, good shot. Well, oh, this one's her butt. This one's got some weight to it. We found something good. A little crescent wrench. What we should probably do is set a pile up for like um, the thrift store, like Salvation Army. Yeah. So that we don't throw away like stuff that's like, yeah, use. exactly, somebody else could use. So make sure we have a trash pile, Salvation Army pile, and then our key pile. It's a family photo. Of this big? Half of the world? My guess is a horse. A horse running like through the flatlands. That's got some good money in tarp and bungees. Whoa! Whoa, that's pretty sweet. That is sweet. How can you tell it's real? It's painted on masonite. Masonite? Is that same? You yeah. can tell because they it's, it's, literally, it's painted on, on the, the back side of, of masonite. Really yeah, it's nice a, the, we're going to try to figure out what to do with it, pile. Poker table. Ay, 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 ay. You just hit out with the back. <laughs> <laughs> right here, man. <laughs> Dead leg from a mannequin. That would be how you go out, Alan. We got an iPad. Whoa, an iPad? Yeah. You try? I've never even seen one of those things. Eric, you want to take a rip? Dave? Do you smoke crack out of it or you smoke? I'm not sure. It's whatever they had in here. They uh, pen lead. Razor blades. I don't know, but it sounds like there's beads in there. Members only. Place the wax beans. Oh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just like wax for like your body. Hey, look, a turd in a punch bowl. There's no more turd in that punch bowl. Well, guys, I'm afraid that uh, all we did was just help somebody move stuff that they didn't care to move. Ooh, wait a minute. crossbow this is exactly what you want to find when you're going through an old storage unit it's actually a nice crossbow hands up dirt bags oh, hey, oh. pretty robust crossbow here we'll see if there's any arrows oh, it feels heavier than just clothes but the top is just all that's what i would do if i was trying to hide something i would make it look like an old See how heavy that is? I'll make it look like an old hamper full of dirty clothes, but put the dirty clothes on top. These chairs may look nice, but they are completely crooked and warped, so it's... <laughs> That's the 
the most uncomfortable chair I've ever sat in, in my life. Here's the hope the truck's worth something because we have reached the end of the box. We found some, some neat stuff, probably only about $700 worth of stuff that we could resell right away. Uh, the thrift store is going to get hooked up big time with a bunch of stuff. Paul, yeah. you want this? He would be we'll more take than... this home to your kid, okay? Yeah, Alice, uh, Merry Christmas, my guy. Sparkling Cider Martinelli's. That's good. No. Yeah. No, actually, I kind of want to try it. It's got a kind of odd taste. We got to shoot him. Yeah. Is it good? Okay. Want some? I don't. <laughs> that was that was quick. All right. Well, the back of the truck was exciting, but not terribly exciting because there's nothing super valuable. Like I said, maybe 700 bucks all in if the wheelchair works. Might be a thousand dollars worth of stuff we can resell. The truck, I do feel like even if it's just scrap, we can sell it for probably five grand of parts because it's complete. Uh, we're gonna try to get it running, see if it runs. If it does run, probably sell it for 10, 15. Actually, let me see the miles. 160 on the miles. We're not gonna lose money. I think we're gonna make on the low end 500 bucks on the entire deal, or if we can get this thing running, make five, 10 grand. So, all right, payday. But more than anything, it was just kind of exciting. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. This isn't what we do all the time uh, for our business. Obviously, we do a bunch of different stuff, but anytime something like this pops up where it's like, hey, we can buy this and don't know what, what it is, but let's see if we can make any money on it. That's the whole goal right now with some of these videos that we're doing. We wanna show you, cause this is kind of how we got our start. Like years ago, we would buy anything we could find and then see if it was valuable and then try to resell it. So we got a couple other things that I'm working on buying right now all over the place. Like the other day I saw a listing on an auction for a tower on top of a mountain. It's like a giant antenna. So I've been bidding on that. We'll see if we get that. Big on a lot of wild stuff. So if the bids go through and we get it, you guys are gonna see everything from concrete mixer trucks to somebody's old moving truck to towers on mountains and everything in between. So buckle up because this could get exciting. You thought the party was over. Why is that money? Like I don't it? care. It, it was wrapped up in a maxi pad. Three more dollars I started the day with. Right. Now I'm just, oh, oh. So lotion, lotion explosion. It's lotion. Uh, more flour. Any last words for the people? Uh, good riddance.